Tiger 775, a little different uh, location for our normal type of installation. We're here in Rhode Island. We're looking at putting a Solark 30K, possibly two Solark 30K three phase inverters on this 125 foot sailboat behind me. And uh, so when they pull into shore, they want to be able to use shore power. We're going to go through a transformer and we're going to be able to charge their batteries and not have to run their diesel engines so much. Uh, even when they're out, one of the curious things that I have that I'm curious about is when they're out to sea, that once they're sailing, that they can actually make hydroelectric energy with a prop. And we, if we can capture that and charge their batteries through the inverter, that would be amazing too. So not necessarily a solar project, though they could put some solar on the ship, but we're going to basically uh, charge it's a solar Solar 30K three-phase inverter to charge the batteries on board the ship in a, in a bunch of different scenarios. So let's go see if we can find the captain and get on board. Okay, so they've already removed, there was a generator in here. They're removing both the port and starboard generators. It's gonna be replaced by a rack of batteries, lithium. Um, hopefully they're gonna be water cooled. We're still talking about that. This is an old stack of AGMs that are just used for starting diesel engines and emergency backup. And they're, they're, they're about to go away. So we're gonna do lithium. Nicholas has given us the tour. Thank you, Nicholas. And uh, he's the captain. We're gonna possibly put the 30K, the 30K inverter will go there, batteries here. And then pot, you're really looking at putting both both inverters in just kind of mirror, yeah, one in side, mirror image. And mirror image. Got it. Size. And will they be tied together? Hey, that's the plan. Do you care if you're on video? No, it's okay. okay. So we, meet Nicholas Escalante. Hey, I, <laughs> he's the captain of the ship. And uh, so we're getting a tour today and he's telling us the they're working on this thing like crazy. You can see that everything's tore apart. But the goal is they don't have to run the diesel generators as much as they've had to run them. Plus, when you pull into port, we'll be able to charge yeah, through the shore power. Shore power. And then charge the batteries and Do you already have a transformer? Not yeah, yet. We have a transformer, but we are also thinking to use the 30K inverter for that. Right, but we'll need to bring, it's still 208, you still got to transform it down to, two, to, to 208. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right, so we're still talking through how this is going to work, and we're still getting a tour. So we're in the middle, of, they're in the middle of tearing down this generator, and literally to get this off of the ship, they've got to take it apart. They just took the head off, the turbo, and then they're going to start breaking it down. So that's a big project to get this thing out of here. It is. Piece by pieces, pieces that pieces fit. To get to the block and be able to pass to the oh door and man, then, everything's got to fit through that door. Use the halyard to be able to bring to the deck and then to the dock and you know. Wow, and John Deere, the John Deere generator. Huh, that's amazing. So over here, we seem to have a little more room on the wall, but still the battery is the old battery. Um, I'm, we need to see if we can do, if we can put two 30Ks over on this side. So we're just thinking out loud right now about, because um, obviously the biggest challenge on the ship is space. So I'm looking at the electrical panels with Nicholas and they are bringing in 208 three phase right here. You can see 250, oops, it's oh okay. my goodness, <laughs> I'm touching buttons. <laughs> Don't do that. Is that okay? It's okay. Yeah. I'm dangerous. You got to watch me. Um, so we've got two different, we got circuit breaker panel A, circuit breaker panel B. And um, so, but everything I thought was going to be transformed, but I'm seeing three phase coming in to the ship from shore power. Yeah. And he says he always is connecting to three phase 208, typically with this. This over here is a 24 volt distribution panel and it has um, it's being used for a variety of things on the ship and we just started talking about loads loads being things like the steering motors it's electric over hydraulic steering motors and we've got uh, refrigeration units back here a couple of compressors for refrigeration um, he thinks the steering unit is probably the largest load on the ship so we want to make sure that that inverter can handle that everything on the ship is monitored um, every single thing, lots of alarms, everything, temperatures on, on engines, there's just everything is uh, able, you're able to see everything from an iPad yeah. and uh, kind of keep, keep up with everything, don't let anything get out of, out of line. This is just a little conference room on board, really nice. Watch TV while you're sailing. We have more rooms here, 
right now we have you know all the cushions from the yeah so this the ship is going under a complete remodel from the engines and generators on up so it's quite the project nicholas has been on board for three years and now he's in the middle of taking everything and fixing it never take our shoes off here we have another room here yeah and if we have you know bathroom closet ac yeah. what i need it's really good for this will be the master room this is the only cabins and he have his own en uh, entry or entry to the to the master suite yeah. nice you can take a look to the bathrooms too okay you have one for him and one him and hers there. this is nice so they're pretty much a lot of a lot of mirror images on both sides are pretty much the same that's great so he has his own entrance yes to the master oh it must be rough now do you stay where do you, where are your quarters? Uh, in the front. In the front. If I go to the engine in front, I'll okay. go in the front. The mast is 180 foot. 180 foot mast. Yes. The boat is 120. 120 foot boat. Ship. I know it's When yeah. does it get called a ship? Ah, steering. So this is the cockpit, and here's where you, you know, command the vessel and steering. Um, you have to helm one from each side when the boat is healing. We have navigation here, radars, uh, wind, depth, and usually I also have the iPad here with the whole monitor system. So you're able to see everything from here. See, yes. I this can is see where it. you spend a lot of time. And when we're sailing, yes, when we are on the way. And here you have the control panel for almost everything is hydraulics. And so you can run everything from here, the autopilot, all the winches. And That's wonderful. Boat thruster, engines, so So. The most amazing thing, and I can't wait, is to see how much hydroelectric this thing can make. And the estimates right now are 24,000 watts, 24 kW. So if we can capture 24 kW to a belt drive three-phase generator and bring that directly into the Solarks, they'll be able to sail endlessly with all all monitoring, all every creature comfort you have now. Yeah. You won't you won't need to ever start the generators, right? No, we can go unlimited silent. Unlimitedly silent. That's cool. So Solark's motto is limitless power. Um, this one's taking it. This is unlimited silence. <laughs> Maybe that's what I'll call the video. Unlimited silence. So this is amazing. This is an awesome. Thank you for the tour, Nicholas. Sure, no, you guys are more than welcome. This is awesome. What do you think, kid? No, Want to go great. for a ride? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're wrapping up our tour down here in Newport, Rhode Island of an amazing ship. Uh, Captain Nicholas gave us an awesome tour. We got to see all the inner workings. They're actually dismantling the engine, the generators that are in the belly of the ship, and they're pulling them out piece by piece because they got to fit through the doors. Uh, we went over what some of the loads are, the most difficult loads. Probably the biggest load on the ship is steering. The steering motors are electric over hydraulic. And then there's a lot of other loads too. So anyway, we're working on getting inverters in here. The inverters should arrive today. And so then I'll get with the electrical engineer to talk about the plans on how to charge those batteries and give them unlimited silence while they're sailing. 24,000 watts an hour is what we are predicting. This thing will make when it's underway with the props. Two props turn in 12,000 watts each. Should give them unlimited power, endless sailing, and all the creature comforts on board the ship. So we're going to head back to South Carolina now. Uh, this is Engineer 775 signing out.